Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you have been following my channel, you know that I do a lot of hydroponic gardening. I just love gardening indoor, growing uh, peppers and lettuce and being able to do it all year. So I'm always looking for something new to try. Uh, I've tried the Aero Garden and uh, has great results. I did some DIY, created my own grow box and all that stuff. So I'm searching uh, for new things to test and I found this grow box here and it is by Opcom. So I will provide all the information so you can go to the site and check it out. It's basically a grow box that you can set uh, on top of your table or if you have a restaurant, put it aside somewhere in the corner and it will grow your lettuce or whatever vegetable you want to grow inside all year long and you have fresh vegetable all the time. The reason I like this unit here is because it's, it's large enough to grow some of the plants that I'm looking to grow. And uh, the Aero Garden just does not have enough space to grow the, uh, the particular lettuce varieties that I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to grow. So um, let me show you how large that uh, lettuce varieties can get and then you will see why it's not good to grow it in a, a small unit. Okay, here's the lettuce plant that I was talking about. I initially grew this in a uh, small hydroponic setup inside and it basically outgrew the space so I, I took it out here I have two of them and this is how big it is this thing here is from corner to corner it's 13 inches so imagine growing that in a aero garden you will only get one of this guy alright let's go back inside and unbox the unit and I will show you what it looks like inside okay we're back let's open this up and take a look it's pretty nicely packaged together so I'll cut these apart. Got the user manual, quick guide, I guess these are how to set it up and some growing instructions. Wow, it comes with a pH meter and all the good stuff, some, some seeds, got some lettuce seeds here. And I guess these are nutrients. So you get uh, the pH up, pH down, some lettuce, and then uh, nutrients and some more stuff in there. So we'll, we'll take a look at this in a bit. Okay, I'll just pause the video, put everything together, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, I have everything set up and I have placed it into the place where it's going to be for the initial testing. Sitting on my table there. And let me give you some details of the unit. This is where the water goes. And that's just cushion, air tube there. So everything's pretty simple and it has a meter here so when you fill your water up the meter would tell you uh, when it's enough. And I removed the center bars because those are not needed because I'm not going to grow any tall plants like tomatoes. Alright I just fill it up with some water as they stated in, in the manual 4.2 gallons and then hit the switch. It's currently on auto right now, so everything is looking good. That's where the nutrients are going to go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add these nutrients to the unit. They say just to pour this in there and then wait 30 minutes and then adjust pH. So I'm going to go ahead and add this.
and then we'll turn on the unit the pump is on and it's cycling through and so we'll wait 30 minutes as it's instructed and then we'll come back and check pH and see uh, if we need to adjust it okay it has been over 30 minutes now and everything should be ready to go uh, I just started to check the pH and it's sitting at 6.8 so what we need to do is add some pH down so what you want is uh, your pH to be around 5.5 to 6.5 anything in between that uh, over and under that would not be good for the plants alright so here's a capsule of pH down we'll just throw it in there and then let it dissolve and then we'll test it again in a bit to make sure that everything is between the range of 5.5 to 6.5 okay uh, the meter reads 6.1 which is good enough so let's go ahead and start some seeds so the box comes with a bunch of sponges for the starting your seed so basically it's very simple um, you just throw that into this section here and then make sure that everything is soaked and I'm gonna be growing a few different varieties of my own and a few of the one that came with the box each of these cube here uh, is a little tiny square so we're just gonna insert the capsule that came with it into there I haven't decided how many plants I'm gonna grow but uh, I'll just do a few and then add as I go and, and see how many I'll, I'll end up with okay so uh, here are the lettuce seeds that came with it each of these capsule has some seeds inside it's as simple as placing the seed in there like like so and then once the capsule melted you can remove the top so I'll, I'll do a few uh, for the, the lettuce that came with it okay and if you want to do your own seeds it's pretty much the same way except that uh, you're gonna have to sort of like force a few seeds in there okay the leather seeds are very small so we'll so I'll just use a spoon to to try to feed this in there works pretty well so I'll do a few more so you would try to put like three to four seeds per pocket and then uh, once they sprout it you can just thin them out and keep the best looking one before I start to get confused of what varieties these are I'm gonna go ahead and take these and put them into this cell and then I'll label them so that I would know which one they are so it's pretty simple you just tear these off so I'll put these here and when you place them there you want to push them down but don't push them all the way so that they'll fall through just enough like like so like that uh, it also comes with something like this you can actually grow something here too but I'm just gonna use this as a cover I may put something here later but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this okay so uh, it says to turn off the lights and allow the plants to germinate because it doesn't plants they don't need lights to germinate and then once uh, it germinated then we'll move down the lights closer turn on the system and allow uh, the plants to just sit there rest and grow so we'll be back when that happens alright guys it has been exactly six days and we have some progress there are some of these um, seedlings starting to come out a few of these only actually took three days to sprout but I wanted to let them grow a little bit more before I do the update so most of them have come up with the exception of a few uh, these basil seeds that I have they're pretty old so they they may take a while to come up and I added the large lettuce that I mentioned earlier in the video everything is looking good I'm really excited about this system and I come by every morning to check on them 
All right, guys, it has been exactly 17 days and the plants are looking fantastic. So the lettuce seeds that came with the system sprouted really well. All of them grew to this size. Not bad. And some of the seeds that I bought from the stores, not all of them germinated. So I took those out. And so really you're not supposed to plant in every cell because these lettuce can grow gigantic. And then uh, if you move over here, we have some of my tat soy here. These are just fantastic plant and they grow very fast. So look at the size of those there. And then this one as well. And they, these type of plants require much more lights than uh, most of the lettuce that I have grown. So I fixed the lights to be right above them or else they would be leggy. Yeah, so they were leggy and I fixed it so now they're all good to go. You see, I see there's a, a little bit of a, a lengthy stem there and that one is what they usually look like. There's no gap between the base to the plant. So if you provide them with good lights, that's what they look like. If you don't provide them good lights, they will extend it like this. So that's why I fixed the lights to be right on top of these. And these are watercress. They're growing great as well. And uh, so... For 17 days, uh, no effort, they are grown quite nicely. And so I decided that I want to rotate my crops. So I started a new batch of uh, seeds. And I just place them in this little container, fill them with water and feed them occasional nutrients. I just use a medicine dropper here and I collect the nutrients from these. And I just, just drop them in there like that. So every few days they dry up and I add more. But uh, I think this is a great method to just keep rotating. So as these grow much larger, these would be ready to transplant in the system. So when you harvest these uh, and then remove them from the system, you can put those in. So you can keep having a continuous cycle of, uh, of plants. But anyway, this is two weeks. So I will come back in another two weeks and I will let you see how large these plants get. All right guys, welcome back. It is now 30 days into the cycle and the plants are looking amazing. So let me take you closer and let you see what's going on here. The tat soy here is just grown out of control. Look how big these things are. And they're just kind of like spreading out across this unit and blocking everything else. So the watercress is struggling because it's, it's fighting for lights being blocked from the tat soy here. So that's another thing to consider when you grow in hydroponic. Uh, in systems like these, you have to sort of like plan out uh, the type of plants that you would like to grow in here because some plants can get very big and they would just take over and then you will have no room to grow anything else. And to the left are the lettuce and they are doing fantastic. There, you can actually cut a few leaves here and then allow them to grow back and harvest again. So uh, there's really not much that I have done to the system except fill it up with water, add nutrients, check pH every once in a while and adjust it if needed. So the system works great, maintenance free uh, as far as uh, just leaving the plants there to grow. And uh, the lights come on at the time that you uh, set it on and then it'll run and then it turns off by itself in the evening. After using the system uh, for one complete cycle, um, I would do things a little bit different the next time. I would not start the seed directly into the system. I'm just going to start it like I do here. I just use a, a tray or anything like that, uh, fill it up with water and then put some seeds in and let the, the little, little cubes here soak up some water and just monitor and let the little plants grow and once they get to about this size here and this is usually about two weeks um, then you can transplant those into the system so anyway guys the system works great and uh, I really like it and just imagine if you have this uh, at home you can have vegetable all the time and if you have this in the restaurant just imagine going up to uh, the counter and say I want this one as my salad it's just nice and clean and easy to use but um, that's all for this video I hope you enjoy the experiment and uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you for watching.